My name is Jerome, and I'm with an organization called Sounds Good. We're literally missionaries. Well, I don't know if my story is that uncommon for most kids. Parents are together. Eight years old, they get divorced. And then I find myself, we moved to Mason, a little suburb outside of Lansing. I found myself wanting, you know, attention, and I've, I'd look to um, fighting or uh, video games or sports to help fulfill a void. As most teens do, they long to be accepted. So I found myself just doing that till about 15 years old, um, played basketball on the varsity team, and then got around some friends that was just really getting involved with a lot of peer pressure to, to do drugs. One day I decided to smoke weed, and then the next day it looks like I'm seven years later, and I'm in an intense spiral. Um, doing drugs every day for seven years. My senior year, I didn't get to play basketball on the team. Uh, I was rapping. Um, it was right when Eminem was huge. So it was all about battle rap. And uh, I found, I'd go down to Detroit trying to battle guys, try to rap, make my own rap music, uh, try to be cool, and uh, found myself just in a spiral. Basically, found myself just empty, broken. And um, it was a series of events. My girlfriend left me, which is you know, I think every strong man's got to have that happen to him once. And, and then I found myself at church on an Easter Sunday. No one invited me. I came, and I heard the gospel of Jesus, and it altered my life forever. The, or after a couple years, I found the Lord uh, calling me to make music for him. So I gave up rap music when I first came to the cross. And then after a couple years, I started seeing how I could use that to reach kids. So it was a crazy turn of events. I never thought you could use rap music to reach kids. Um, I thought that was like an oxymoron, rap and God, because I always associated rap with my sin and my darkness and my anger and my depression and hurt. Um, but then God started showing me how we could use it, and uh, it's, been, it's been cool since then. The song Robot, uh, one of the verses that I think deals with teens is it, it, the verse goes like this. Wake up extra early, got the new fade on. Do I put the Air Maxes or the new Jays on? These are questions that can consume today's teens. Want to copy everything that's seen on MTV. It's a disguise. A false reality filled with lies. Try to hold and conceal my God, not I. I will not conform to this or transform from the norm. You can't clone me, kid. Uniqueness, why to tell me who I should be? Women don't feel like they add up in society unless they size two. Or a dude's gotta be like Rip Bruce Lee. It's not true, just be you. It's the only thing that you can be, and I, 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 I can only be me fresh. Is my worth in him? It's way more than the shiny rims or Tim's that let's go. I'm not a robot. I am not a robot. Even though the world's a